this is my Honda Africa Twin. This is a 2022 model year. And I uh, wanted to make a brief video on changing the seat height. It uh, can be a little tricky. And I think I've got to kind of figure it out how to move the, uh, the rider seat from the lower position to the higher position and back again. So that's pretty much what this video is about, is uh, how to change the seat height. I'll show you how I do that. There's basically two seat heights, and I've marked, put a piece of tape on the fuel tank just to serve as a reference uh, for the purpose here. You can see that I've set the uh, seat into the lower position and kind of marked where that's at on the tape. And once I get it into the upper position, it'll be on that higher mark. And you can look in the spe specification for this bike. There's about an inch, maybe an inch and a half difference in the seat height uh, from the rider's perspective. Okay, to start with, I've moved the camera so you can get a bit closer view of the uh, seat. You have to take this passenger uh, cushion off first. And the way you do that is you put your ignition key down into this uh, key lock down here and rotate it a quarter turn clockwise. And then you just lift up, hold up on the back seat for like that, and then just push forward. And then this will just come right off, slide off. And you have to have this removed before you can uh, actually <clears throat> remove the uh, driver's seat. The best way to get the driver's seat off, I, uh, the rider's seat, is to just kind of uh, pull back on it while lifting up is what they say in the manual. What I found is a little bit of uh, wiggling, you know, kind of left and right or starboard and port, however you want to think about it, kind of helps a little bit for getting this uh, seat out. I'll try that here now. And then this just comes out. The thing to notice on this seat, and they talk about this in your owner's manual, is there are, there's a couple of positions. The seat has two positions it can be in. There's this front piece here uh, that is actually used when you have the seat in the upper position, the higher position, and then this one more forward is the uh, one for the lower position. And we have the same sort of a thing here in the middle of the seat. <coughs> This lower one is for the uh, uh, upper seat position, and that's for the lower. Uh, another thing to notice is that there's a couple of feet back here, and these will go into a slot I'll show you here in a minute. I'll show you where all these slots are. I'll have to pick up the camera for that. Okay, I've got both seats removed, and uh, that front those front set of hooks I was showing you, they actually attach here on the tank. Uh, there's those two marks I was showing you about. We'll, we'll see those in just a minute. That's the difference that you'll see going from the lower seat position on the nose of the seat to the upper position. That's about a little over an inch. And then down here is where that mid hook goes into. And then back here, these two slots here, when the seat is in the lower riding position, those feet will actually fit in between these two. They'll go into this lower slot here in between this lower two. And when it's in the upper uh, seating position, it'll go in between these two slots here. All right, I'm going to reinstall this seat into the upper riding position. So to do that, I'll want to make sure that this lower hook on the front, the nose of the seat, is going into this front part. And I'll need to make sure of that, and then I'll check on the back to make sure that, that these pieces here are going into that, into that middle set of racks on the back that I was just pointing to. Not the lower ones, but the one in the upper position. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to try to drive these into that position, 
just to kind of get it started. I'm not going to push it all the way forward. Okay, I can kind of feel it started there. Now I'm going to check on the back, make sure that that back piece is going to go into that slot, that this front piece is lining up. Yeah. Looks about right. And then what I'm going to do is drive it forward like this, pushing down and driving forward to get it to lock in. And it's in. <laughs> Went right in. So um, now we've got the seat in the upper position. I'm going to show you that here now. You can see that the front nose of the seat is at that upper line. And you'll also notice that the uh, those back feet that I was just talking about, it's kind of hard to reveal here, but they're in the middle slot there. Right down there. And then there's one on the other side too. If I was in the lower position, those feet would be down in the slot below, but we're in the upper position right now. All right, I'm going to take it back out, and then I'll reinstall it into the lower position. So to remove it, I'm going to uh, <clears throat> kind of pull back, kind of wiggling from port to starboard, and kind of try to pull out and get it out that way. And it came right out. And so now I'm going to try to reinstall it into the lower position by using this upper post into the nose. And then these feet will be in those lower brackets that we were just looking at, those white brackets. Do that now. So I want to make sure that this lines up. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to mention. When you're going to the lower position, there's these plastic pieces on the back of the seat that you can see sticking down, and they're going to get hung up on this part of the frame. So you kind of have to get those started underneath before you start putting this in, otherwise you're not going to do it. So I'll, I'll make sure that I get these kind of guided underneath this frame section here. And then I drive it forward like you just saw me do, and it's locked into place. I'll take the camera off. We'll do one more shot of those brackets on the back. Kind of hard to see because the seat's so much lower now, but those cushions on the back of the seat are now into the lower section. And you'll notice here on the front of the seat that the nose is now in the lower position. The only thing left to do now is to put the uh, back cushion on and I'll do that. Just take a second. So now I'll reinstall the uh, cushion on the back. So I just kind of bring it in like this so that these will hook and then push down on it and it locks into place. Pull up just to make sure it's locked. Remove your key. We're ready to go.